Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's clip, I'd like to show you the new Flymore kit that was just released for the DJI FPV drone. Now, if you're going to be flying that drone, this is a kit you definitely want to take a look at because it includes accessories that I promise you, you're going to end up buying down the road. And by buying these as part of the kit, you actually save some money. Now, DJI will typically release their new drones in a couple of different product formats. They'll release a standard kit, which includes the drone, the controller, the batteries, the props, pretty much everything you need to get the drone up in the air. And then they'll release a Flymore combo that includes everything I just mentioned and a lot of other accessories that you're going to end up buying anyway. And when you add up the cost of all those accessories that are included, it typically is less expensive than buying them individually. So in this particular case, they've released the drone as a basic kit, which again includes the drone, the controller, the goggles, the batteries, the propellers, everything everything you need to get the drone up and start flying. And they've released this brand new Flymore kit, which includes two more batteries, a hub that can charge three batteries, an instruction manual for the batteries and an instruction manual for the hub. And I promise you, even though 20 minutes seems like a long time for flying, when you think about it, the amount of time it takes to get out to the location you want to fly, you've got the prep work in the morning, charging the batteries, you got to drive to the location, you finally get set up, you get the drone up in the air, and 20 minutes is going to fly by. So the first thing you're going to think is, man, I got to get more batteries. So you're going to go right to the website and start ordering new batteries. These can be fairly expensive buying them individually, but buying them as part of this kit really reduces the price. The other thing that's really cool is this hub, which allows you to charge three batteries. Now, there's a little bit of confusion around the hubs. A lot of people think you can plug three batteries in and all the batteries are gonna charge at the same time in parallel fashion and you get out the door in a heartbeat. The truth is it doesn't charge all three batteries at the same time. And I've talked about this in other clips, but I'll go through it in detail in a minute when I do the closer look at the product. Essentially what's going on is you get a charger with the product, right? So there's a single charger, and it's got a connector on the end of it. You plug that into the side of the hub, and then you can plug in up to three batteries. But this is a smart device. There's intelligence inside there, and these are smart batteries. So the minute this powers up, it handshakes with all the batteries you've got plugged in, and it's checking them, sort of asking them, how much of a charge do you need? And it's trying to decide which of the batteries you've plugged in needs the least amount of charge. And what it's going to do is take all the energy, all the electrons that are flowing through that hub, and fire it at that battery that needs the least amount of charge. And the reasoning there is, if it charges that battery quickly, you can unplug it and start flying, and then it'll actually move on to the next battery and charge that one. So it's going to look for the battery that needs the least amount of charge, charge that fully. If you're not near it, it's going to shut it off and move on to the one that needs the least amount of charge next, and finally the third battery. So I know people out there say, well, why can't they charge three batteries at the same time? It's really a math problem because the charger itself can only deliver 86 watts of, of charging power. Each of these batteries can charge at 90 watts, so it's kind of a one-to-one -one relationship. And I think it's I think it's really great that DJI made the decision to sort of figure out which battery needs the least amount of charge, because if they went the other way and said, which battery is the most depleted, that would take forever to charge it. So to get out the door quickly, you want the battery that needs the least amount of charge to charge first. So I'll show you how that works in a minute, but I like the hub and I think they did a great job. It's really small and compact. You can use it laying down like this. It's got rubber feet on the bottom, so it's not gonna skid across the desk. I typically stand it up like this to connect up the batteries. It just seems like a more logical way to go here. Plus I can keep an eye on what's going on with the lights on the top of it. So I'll show you this in operation in a minute. But for me, when I look at these Flymore combinations, a lot of other drone companies make fly more kits where they include a lot of extra stuff. And when I look at what they include in those kits, it's typically things that are kind of cool, but things I may never use, maybe prop guards or some other decals or some other stuff that I wouldn't have bought on my own. When DJI puts a kit like this together, I'm telling you, the, when I opened that box up the first time, I thought to myself, okay, I've got one battery, that's 20 minutes of flight time. Let me get on the website and start ordering more batteries. I saw the fly more kit, two extra batteries in the hub. And again, when you add this up, it's way less expensive than buying these things individually. So this makes a lot of sense for me. And it gives me, say, 20 minutes on the original battery, 20 minutes here, 20 minutes here. And again, that's going to vary based on how you're flying and how many flips you're doing and how fast you're going. But it's going to triple my time in the air, which is a really good thing. So stay tuned. Next, what I'm going to do is a closer look and show you exactly how the logic in that hub works and how it affects the battery charging. Um, I want you to understand exactly what's included with the kit because it really is, I think, a pretty good value for the money. So stay tuned and we'll do the closer look next. Now I'll show you why this hub is such a cool accessory and how it can really save you time when you're charging your batteries. I have three FPV batteries in front of me, all of them at a different charge level. The one on the left is a 25%, the one in the middle is a little over 50%, and the one on the right is at 75%. Now normally if I was charging these batteries without the hub, I would connect the charger up to this one first, I'd let it fully charge, disconnect it, 
connect this one up to the charger, let it finish its charge, then move on to the third one. And if you're not right there when this one finishes charging, you could waste a lot of time in between those battery swaps. So what this hub does essentially is it allows you to connect all three batteries up to it at one time, connect the charger up to it. The minute you add power, the intelligence inside the hub is gonna handshake with each of these batteries and really quickly figure out this one needs the least amount of charge and send all the energy from that charger to this battery. So all the electrons that are coming through here are getting fired at that battery until it's fully charged. Then it turns it off, it moves to the next two, it finds which of these needs the least amount of charge, turns out it's this one, it starts charging that one, and then eventually moves on to the third one. So it's not like you couldn't charge it with the charger, you could stand there and actually swap between the batteries, but the hub does that for you automatically. So it's not like it's gonna charge your batteries any quicker, but what it does is eliminate the wasted time between that swapping of the batteries. Now the hub itself on the front has got three ports that connect up to the batteries, and a port on the side that connects up to the charger, and you'll notice an LED right over here. Now, to connect the charger up to it, you can't get this in backwards because it's keyed, and you'll look closely, you'll see a little triangle right there. You wanna make sure the DJI logo is facing up when you're connecting it up to the end, and the minute I add power, you see the LED come on right there. That LED is one of two colors. It's either yellow like it is now, or it's green. If it's yellow like that and it's solid, it means no batteries are connected. If it's yellow and it's flashing, it means you're in an over temp condition. It's either too hot or too cold to charge the batteries. Normally it'll be green and it'll be one of two states of green. It'll either be blinking green, which means it's charging a battery and I'll show you that in a minute, or it's solid green, which means all the batteries that are connected are charged. Now what I'm gonna do is connect all three of these batteries up, let it go through its testing routine to see which battery needs the least amount of charge. We already know it's this one. Let it figure it out for itself. It'll start charging that battery. Then I'll simulate a full charge battery by disconnecting it. It should move on to this one, of course it will, and then it'll eventually move on to that one. So let me connect these three up. Now the first battery I'm connecting here, it's checking the battery, see how it's blinking? And it's charging that, because there's no other battery on there. Now when I connect this one up, it needs a little less charge than this one, so it's gonna check both those batteries and move to this guy. Now I'll connect this one up, which needs the least amount of charge, and it'll think about it a second, and it'll move to this guy. When this is fully charged, it'll move back to this one, then move back to that one. And when they're all charged, it'll actually stop charging. It won't send any more electrons to any of them. So again, what it does for you is save you the time of not worrying about being at the battery right when it's fully charged so you can swap it over to the next one. Because if you're trying to get out the door, the last thing you want to do is come in the room and figure out that, oh my gosh, that battery hit full charge 20 minutes ago and I've wasted a lot of time. All right, so let me simulate this one being fully charged and let's see what happens. I'll disconnect this from the hub. It's going to think for a second. Well, actually, it remembered and it jumped right back to the middle one. And if I disconnect this guy from the hub, it should jump back to the first one. Now, again, there's no real sense or benefit to having one battery connected up to the hub. You can connect this right up to the charger. But what I love about this, again, is it allows me to sort of put them on the charger, connect up the hub, have them sit on my desk, and I can do other work getting ready to get out for the day of flying and know that it's going to actually carefully charge the one that needs the least amount of charge, and then move on to the other two, and finish all three very safely and very quickly for me. So I think it's a necessary accessory. Uh, I've used hubs with all of my drones that I've been flying up till now, and until a parallel charger comes out that allows you to charge all of them at the same time, which we may never see, this hub is a really great alternative. I hope that demonstration was helpful in showing you how the hub actually charges the batteries. And I know that it doesn't charge them in parallel, but still being able to connect three batteries up to the hub and having it be smart enough to know which one it's going to charge first and then move on to the other two means that I'm not constantly connecting and disconnecting batteries from the charger. I can connect them all up, leave them on my desk before I head out to fly and let them charge in order. And then when they're all done, I can grab them and head out the door. So that's pretty much all I had for today. If you have any questions about anything I've covered, please drop those in the comments below. I've got a lot more clips coming on the DJI FPV drone and a lot of other high-tech gear. And if you're interested in this product, I've got a link below where you can actually go to the DJI website and you can check it out for yourself. And we get a little credit if you do that. So if you want to support the channel, hit that link and head over there and take a look at it. And that's it for today. So thanks again for watching. And until next time, <laughs> happy flying. Thank mm -hmm. you.